So this is going to be a short tutorial and in today's video I'll show you how you can speed up your Unisa transaction and also we're gonna talk about Exverse transaction as well. So it's going to be a very simple tutorial and I know a lot of people ask me about this so let me show you how you can do this. So first we're gonna use Unisa wallet and to do that I'm gonna inscribe something first. So let's say we're gonna inscribe uh, this single text file then you will go to next, next and as you can see, we have the custom fee. So the gas is really important to us because if you look at a mempool, you will need at least 23 SAS per VByte for your transaction to be in the first block. So when I'm going to send something with, for example, 10, my transaction won't even show up here because it's going to be somewhere on the left side. But if you're going to send it with 30 or 40 or even more than that, which is enough to be in the first transaction, your transaction will go through within the first 10 minutes. And the block will move to the right side. So let me show you how it looks like. So what we're gonna do, you can see this is 20 and 23. So we're gonna send something with 21. So we will go to Unisa and then we're gonna scroll down below and do custom. So 21. And I'm gonna just submit and pay that. So you're gonna pay three dollars for this transaction. So just sign and pay that. So now our transaction is unconfirmed, and you can see that in your Unisa wallet. So when you're gonna click it, you'll see the unconfirmed transaction here. And if you click on your view transactions. It's going to bring you to mempool and you will see that our transactions is in this block. So what you need to do is essentially speed up this transaction. So let's say you have an example when you send transactions just like me and we have network spike and the first block turned into, let's say, 50. If you want to speed it up, you will need to basically go to Unisub wallet and you need to send some more Bitcoin to your own wallet to speed up this transaction. So essentially the second transaction that you're going to use to speed up the first one will pay for the first transaction and it's going to add some gas on top of that. So essentially how does that work? You want to copy your uh, Bitcoin wallet and then you're going to send. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on the recipient. We're going to use our own wallet to send Bitcoin to ourselves, And we're going to do like, you know, anything like very little amount. So it is not a lot. And then we're going to use the custom transaction or you can do fast. So you can see this is 24 here. So 25 is enough to be in the first block. But if you want to even more than that, because maybe you expect the network will spike even more, you can go to custom and you can do, uh, for example, 30. So I'm just going to do maybe 26 to show you how this looks like and click on the next. And now you want to click sign and pay. Now when I'm going to click on the history, it's going to bring me to the second transaction. And you can see the second transaction where I'm sending Bitcoin to, my, to myself is in the first block. So once this transaction will go through, and you're going to see this transaction on the on the right side. This transaction will send some funds to the second one. And this second transaction will be pushed to the first block. So now you can see our transaction was confirmed. And this transaction you can see in this block paid for the another one. So this one was the first one that paid for this one. So that was originally the first one that I sent. This transaction paid for the second one. So now we understand how the process looks like. I'm going to link this post down below as well. So you can read about this in detail. And now I'm going to be showing you how you can do it on Xverse Wallet. So if you go to Xverse Wallet, let's say we're going to send some funds to another wallet. So we're going to go to send, send Bitcoin, and then we're going to send, let's say, like, so we're going to send like $10, and then we're going to add the recipient. So click on the next, and we're going to add the recipient. Click next, and you can see the mempool. So the first block is at 20. So what we're going to do, we're going to go for 19. So you want to scroll down and on the purpose of this video, I'm going to go to edit settings and we're going to send this transaction with the lower fee. We're going to send it with 19. So um, I'm going to show you how you can speed it up. So if you go to 19, we're going to pay only 150. You're going to click on apply and then click confirm. So now if you copy this transaction and if you go to mempool, you can search for your transaction. You will see that our transaction is in here. So you can see this arrow there. And if you want to speed it up, what you'll do, you essentially will go and click on your Bitcoin wallet. And then you want to scroll down and you can click on speed up. So Xverse made it really, really simple. It wasn't always like that. It used to be the same method that you have to use by speeding up transactions using Unisa wallet. So now, if you want to do it, you can click on the speed up button. And in here, you can click on the higher priority. Or if you want to send it with a higher one, you can go and click on the custom. And we're going to send, let's say, 26. So, or even 29, let's say. So we're going to pay $2.30 and click on apply button and click on submit. So once the transaction will be submitted, you want to go over here and you want to click on this button here. So once you're going to click on it, the new transaction will pop up and you will see that our transactions right now is on the first block. So now in this case, we send Bitcoin. So you don't have to wait for the second transaction go, to go through because this transaction is automatically speed up. But let's say you want to inscribe something, then your transaction will be, for example, in this block. And if you send the override transaction, this transaction will go through. And this transaction will pay for the first transaction that you sent. 
So it's kind of complicated, but you will understand that when you're going to do it the first time. So it's just really important to know if you need your funds urgently, it's a good way to just, you know, know this trick so you don't have to, you know, keep waiting for your funds for hours or even days. There's also a way to do that with ordinals. I'm going to link this guide down below. You can read about this in detail. But if you have any expensive assets, I wouldn't recommend to do that. Basically, just wait, be patient, and at some point you will receive it. But if you want to test it and experiment, maybe play with some cheap ordinals or cheap inscriptions that you don't care, you can try to do it. So I hope this short tutorial was useful, and I'm going to link these two guys down below so you can test it on your own. And if you found this video useful, let me know in the comment down below. Hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one.